Hello there. This is Dari on World Streams Radio. Thank you to our listeners from all around the world for joining us tonight. If you'd like to learn more about World Streams Radio, visit our website at worldstreams.org. Our guest today is James Gary. James Gary is an American-born, London-based writer and the former Europe editor of Time magazine. His most recent book is Gary's Guide to the World's Great Aphorists, which he claims to be the largest collection of aphorisms in the English language. And it follows on from his previous book on aphorists and aphorisms, The World in a Phrase. James is editor-at-large for Ode magazine and writes online for the Huffington Post and Salon.com, and he also publishes a blog about aphorisms called All Aphorisms All the Time via his website, jamesgary.com. And we're very happy to have him with us. Hi there, Saeed. Hello and welcome, James. Thank you very much for having me. Well, hello, Barry, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today, and good, e- good evening to you, James Gary. Actually, it's good afternoon here. This is, by the way, very exciting. This is the first time that we're doing an interview uh, using technology, live using this type of technology. It's really a pleasure to have you with us. Now, James, uh, let's start with how did you get hooked up on aphorisms? <laughs> Well, it started, believe it or not, when I was eight years old, uh-huh. and um, my parents were faithful subscribers to Reader's Digest magazine, and if you, uh, the next time you find yourself in the sad situation of sitting in the dentist's office, um, reach over, grab the, the latest copy of uh, Reader's Digest, and you will find in there uh, the quotable quotes page, and uh, that contains short little witty sayings by celebrities and people like Oprah Winfrey and, and, and that kind of thing. And when I was eight years old, I found a copy of Reader's Digest uh, lying on the floor of uh, our bathroom <laughs> at our house <laughs> where, where we kept our magazines. And I happened to open it to the quotable quotes section. And there I found, um, of course, I was eight. I didn't, I didn't know the word aphorism. I, didn't, I had no idea what an aphorism was. But these short, witty, uh, philosophical sayings really just knocked my socks off, and I thought they were they were funny, and they were, um, you know, they were beautiful, and they had lots of wonderful imagery and wit and humor, and I became obsessed with them <laughs> from, wow. from that point on. Um, and then I started collecting them, and uh, I collected them through my teenage years, and I still do it today, and. Um, a large part of my collection has ended up in the in the two books that I've written about aphorisms. Wonderful. Now, uh, uh, obviously, the word aphorism is not uh, a word you you find every day. Uh, let's go over the definition of what what does it mean and how different is it from other from words of wisdom, for example, and so forth. Yeah, it is a strange word, and it's a it's a it's a very uncommon word, but. Yeah. Aphorisms themselves are are very very common. So the, the the literal definition of or the etymology of the word aphorism goes back to ancient Greek, and it it, it literally means from the horizon, and from in the, the sense of yeah from the horizon, but in the sense of something that defines something or sets a boundary to something. So when you look at the horizon, you, you see that line, and so the, the horizon sort of is the is the boundary between the, the land and the sky. And so the, I guess the earliest definition of, um, or the most basic definition of an aphorism is a definition. It is some kind of statement of um, fact or what the author believes to be fact. So, I mean, I find myself in awkward situations when people ask me for a li- what I do for a living, and I have to say, well, I'm afraid I write books about aphorisms. And... Um, they say, oh, yeah, 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 aphorisms, aphorisms, oh, fascinating, well, what is an aphorism? And then as soon as you say, you know, well, an aphorism is, I never let school interfere with my education, by, by Mark Twain. <laughs> or when you say an aphorism is, when you're going through hell, keep going, Winston Churchill. Um, if you say, you know, an aphorism is, uh, no snowflake in an av- avalanche ever feels responsible, 
So uh, then as soon as you give a few examples of what an aphorism is, people immediately get it and they say, oh, yeah, my grandmother always used to say this or my father always used to say that or, you know, this particular line from a poem or a pop song or something has, has always meant uh, a lot to me.